وصحبه من تبعه ولا وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد إن شاء الله let me before I introduce our honorable guest I want to tell you what was, what will happen إن شاء الله uh, tonight's lecture is about Quran more of recitation of Quran but first I want to tell you the premise um, you heard the recitation of the Sheikh Mashallah in Salat al-Isha Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Inshallah the Sheikh will I will first you know introduce him then I will ask him Inshallah about his journey with the Quran briefly how how he came to this result I'm memorizing the Quran and you know how to beautify one's uh, voice with the Quran and then Inshallah our uh, guests Sheikh Dallah Inshallah will recite uh, five minutes at the end if Qari Ahmed Siddiq come also he will recite and then inshallah will analyze the recitation. So what you see in front of you is a result of too many things. It is not like just simply you listen to something and you imitate it. That's what we think sometimes. When we hear a hafiz or a qari reciting, so, oh, he sounds like sheikh such and such. Oh, this sounds like that. It is not as simple as this, right? So tonight inshallah, we're going to share some of those secrets <laughs> behind that inshallah. There's part of it is a gift. And part of it is acquired through teaching and through learning. Taban, I wanted to make a disclaimer first before we talk that sometimes this is misunderstood and misrepresented and actually mispracticed, malpracticed as well. So because there is some musical foundation into it. So some people, they will mix this with that, right? Uh, before we go to this, I wanted to introduce our guest. Our guest is Sheikh Fadilat Sheikh Ra'adul Rusan from Florida. He is the founder and the CEO president of Tajweed Institute of Florida. Uh, Subhanallah, I've been like, you know, asking him to come to Houston, you know, <laughs> as soon as possible, inshallah. We will work on that, inshallah, Rabbil Alameen. <laughs> so with your dua, inshallah. So, uh, so uh, he, uh, alhamdulillah, got his bachelor degree in Islamic studies from Medina University. He got his master's degree in Islamic studies from Graduate Theological Foundation uh, in Indiana, Sheikh, right? And, uh, and he's a, a PhD candidate in the same uh, institute. He have ijazah in the Qira'a of Asim, Shu'ba and Hafs, from both Shatubi and the Tayyiba, which is very uh, advanced to do, inshallah. Uh, and uh, the Sheikh, his specialty is teaching the Hufaz, teaching children to, to do Hifz of Quran, and mashallah, you have a good structure. In certain years, the kids finish memorizing the Quran with understanding it. In few years, with understanding it, not speaking Arabic fluently, but knowing the Quranic Arabic, and also how to perform, how to recite the ayah in a certain way. Like in Malaysia, Indonesia, they call it tarannum, right? Tarannum, tarannum. So they, there is a certain uh, uh, different patterns. I want to call it patterns, which in Arabic we call it maqamat, right? Different, different ways. Some of it is like invoking a sad feeling, some of it invoking a happy feeling, and some of it invoking like that. That's where the issue uh, is mixed with this musical thing, right? So some people, they will say, oh, it's haram to do that. Some will say, oh, it's okay to do that, and some in between. So tonight, inshallah, we wanted to clarify that. It is a science. Uh, there is no musical instrument involved. Uh, we do not take the songs of Billah, the disobedient people as the base for our recitation or anything like that. You listen to the recitation. SubhanAllah, it is just that, that simple. So the disclaimer I want to make is that, that there's nothing to do with music, please. I don't want anybody to come and say the hukm of this, this is a fatwa of that. You know, been there, there done that. We already know everything said about this, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. And tonight, inshallah, is to enjoy with the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. With uh, that said, I want, inshallah, to uh, give the uh, floor to uh, Sheikh Ra'ad to tell us in few words uh, how he came to memorize the Quran and, um, you know, the importance of, um, the importance of reciting the Quran in, in a beautiful way. And I'll comment on that. So it's, it's more of a, uh, a conversation with the Sheikh, inshallah, rabbil alameen. بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن بناه تأتي أبدا سلسة والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته First of all, it is my pleasure and honor to be with you here in this masjid, in this beautiful city 
with uh, my dear Sheikh, Sheikh Mamdouh, may Allah reward him and reward the board of this masjid uh, for having me here. Akhwani, uh, Alhamdulillah, I started my journey with the Quran in young age. Um, Subhanallah, when I was very young, my father used to tell me, Ra'at, memorize the Quran. Ra'at, memorize the Quran. I was like seven uh, years old. And Sheikh, his name is Ra'at, but he's not that aggressive, you know. <laughs> you know, Ra'at means thunder, right? In the, so in the positive way. <laughs> positive way, um, And Subhanallah, in that time, I used to tell my father, Father, look at, you know, all the kids in my village, they are playing soccer. So now you want me to memorize Quran and just, you know, stay in the home and not be with my friends. I cannot do that. And we take from this, dear brothers and sisters, you know, the atmosphere is very important. So if you want, you know, for your child to be prepared for the Quran, so you have to, to have a good atmosphere, you know, for the Quran, for him to memorize, inshallah, and to be among the Huffal, or whatever you want, inshallah. But for her too. Yeah. And for him, for of course. Well. Yeah. Uh, but alhamdulillah, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gifted me with, with a beautiful voice, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, uh, I was reciting the Quran uh, in many levels, and alhamdulillah, in, in that age, uh, I was the honor to have the first place in the Hashimit uh, contest in Jordan to represent Jordan in Mecca al mukarramah and in Malaysia for the uh, beautifying the voice. Mm. Alhamdulillah. Uh, since, you know, I, I, I had the, the opportunity to be the first place, they put me with a special shuyukh and qurra to teach me how to beautify my voice. But as, as my sheikh said, nothing, you know, have to do with the music. Just the Sheikh used to recite the ayah and I repeat after him and practice more and more until, uh, you know, I yeah, like reach the point that I'm ready to, to represent my, my country, Jordan. And Alhamdulillah. Um, after that, you know, I, I stayed with, with, you know, with the, with the, in this journey with the Quran, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, until uh, I had the opportunity to to uh, be one of the students in Islamic University in Medina al Munawwara. And alhamdulillah, that was, I mean, a great opportunity for me, alhamdulillah, to, um, to be with the shuyukh, with the qurra, with the, with the styles there that they, mashallah, read, uh, and the ijazat, and the, uh, you know, uh, the qiraat. And alhamdulillah, I finished uh, my Quran, memorizing the Quran in Medina. The entire Quran in Medina. How, old, that, how old were you, Sheikh, at that time? In that time, I was 20 years old. MashaAllah. 20 years old. So not always a child, huh? not always you finish with a child. Yeah. So, <laughs> so Subhanallah, yani, my father was telling me when I was, you know, seven years old, memorize. You are not, you know, everyone look at you as, as you know, uh, an example. So do it, memorize the Quran. And, you know, I don't want, I just want to go to play. <laughs> But alhamdulillah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala يعني, chose me to, you know, to, to memorize the Qur'an and to beautify my book. MashaAllah. Shaykh, يعني, هل, is, is there like, when we are half of the Qur'an, there is like a daily practice. You have to review your word or your portion every day, whether it is Jews or two or three or five. So you do that. Is there any also daily practice for you to keep your melody, your, your beautification? Is there like something like that? Yes, of course. You know, it's not about brothers and sisters to memorize the Quran, but it's about how you keep and maintain the Quran. And it is the same thing for your Quran. For your Quran. Uh, you know, when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in the Hadith, Zayyinu al-Quran bi aswatikum. Beautify the Quran by your voices. He practiced that. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the first one who you know, taught us how to beautify our voices in the Qur'an. And the proof for that, you know, the companions used to say, we never heard someone recite the Qur'an like the Prophet ﷺ, with the tajweed, with the rules, and this is something very important. You know, no matter how much 
you have beautiful voice if you don't have the tajweed the rules <laughs> tajweed, the rules of tajweed then you know your voice basically is nothing you have to have the tajweed rules tajweed. this is one very important and based on that yani for example if my sheikh uh, allow me for example you know whether whether you you know or you don't know ahkam al tajweed whether you know the, the styles of the of the tunes or or you don't know just judge, judge it by by listening okay now which one is more beautiful when i say bismillah rahman rahim qul huwa allah ahad or when i say qul huwa allah ahad which one is more like uh, beloved to your heart is the second one why because it has you know all the ahkam all the tajweed that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered us to recite through the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and this is this ayah doesn't have a lot of ahkam yeah. you know <laughs> just <laughs> some tafkhim and some khalfa <laughs> so what about if, if, if we have you know mudud or, or gunan it's a different story I tell you Allah Sheikh and sometimes you uh, and, and this is again something uh, I hope you can relate to it but when you know too much ahkam and all of that, then you become very picky. <laughs> you become very picky. So when somebody is reciting, they have good voice and everything. And when there is a hukm missing, ah, oh, subhanallah, I wish he did the hukm, right? So we don't, you know, elder shiu who, who know this level of recitation, they are not like a normal person who is attracted by the melody. That's why the sheikh is emphasizing with that. So before you want your son or your daughter or yourself to recite the Quran in a beautiful voice imitating the shir, you have to study ahkam li tajweed and the tilawah because this is like the mold, this is what is going to confine, you don't go out and that is the difference shir, between the Qurra and the that is the difference between us, someone recite Quran and someone singing someone singing is following the rules of the music so maybe the word he can stretch it or he can uh, elongate it, or he shrink it, or short it. It does not matter because it is a song, right? But when you're reading the Quran, the word has to be extended in a certain way. The word so Quran actually confines you, and that's one of the uh, differences as well. Sheikh, do you have like? Is there anyone who came to you before, who like me and does not know any of these melodies or anything like that? And then, over time that you saw the difference happening and it's a gift to, or, or it is a study or how how, how describe it yeah now now the voice has two parts number one you know naturally what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you some people subhanahu they are gifted they have very beautiful voice mm. okay let me uh, ask you uh, Sheikh Sudes he has very beautiful voice right but let me now ask you this uh, about Sheikh Sudes. Do you think that Sheikh Sudes can recite like Abdul Basit? No. No, it's tartil. Why? Uh, Sheikh, it's not about tartil. He has limited, oh. limited, like vocals, in, uh, not vocals, but limited uh, uh, ability in his levels. Uh, exactly. Subhanallah. Oh, okay. Not like Abdul Basit, right? But Abdul Basit can easily do like Sudes. Sudes. So we need to understand that. But, okay, I don't have any good voice. How I beautify your voice? No, I will prove to you, inshallah, that every and each one of you can beautify your voices in the Quran. Yeah, okay? What we want tonight. <laughs> by this, by this. Number one, you will agree with me. Please. You will agree with me. You know, as the Sheikh said, depends on your uh, happiness or if you are sad. Sometimes you uh, 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 give a kind of tune. Okay? If you are sad, may Allah, inshallah, make all our life, inshallah, happy, inshallah, in His way. You know, always. You, you, you will like uh, notice you are reciting the Quran in different way. You are said, mm. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Maybe you cannot do this. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Do you think this is a beautiful voice? I mean, wow, no. But this is, this is a style. This is a tune by the way. 
Okay? Let me give you another example. Your son, your son, uh, the child, when he comes to you and wants to tell you a story that happened with him in the school, how they speak? They speak like this. Daddy, that what happened today. Today, my uh, friend hit me, but I came back to him and I hit him and my, the principal, huh, huh, huh. This is a style. What is it called, Isha? This is a, a style. No. Rust. No. See? I don't know. This <laughs> called seeker. Oh. And subhanAllah, this kind of style used in the stories of prophets. Bismillah ar rahim وَإِذْ قَالَ مُوسَى لِقَوْمِهِ يَا قَوْمِ إِنَّكُمْ ظَلَمْتُمْ أَنفُسَكُمْ بِاتِّخَاذِكُمُ الْعِجْلِ I'm, I'm, I'm telling you a story. Okay? It's different when I say وَإِذْ قَالَ مُوسَى لِقَوْمِهِ يَا قَوْمِ It's sad. Which is if you, subhanAllah, in any way, it is beautiful, right? But it is different when you explaining the meanings by your voice. By your voice. So, tasweer, yeah. Exactly. It's like giving like a portrait or something. Yes. So, my point, everyone can beautify his or her voice. Let us take an example. Okay? Before the Sheikh said that, I'm sorry, it is more of a hawar here, right? So, Sheikh, forgive me. I wanted to mention something, insert something here. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam one time passing in the streets of Medina and then he hears Abu Musa al-Ash'ari reciting the Quran in a very beautiful voice. The Prophet could not continue. He stopped and listened. And he listens and listens and listens and Abu Musa stops. Then in the morning Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Ya Abu Musa laqad utita mizmaran min mazamiri ali dawud. The word mizmar means a flute, right? But here it does not mean a flute. It means one of the styles or the melodies of Sayyidina Dawood alayhi salam. He used to recite his Zabur, Ya Jibalu awibi ma'ahu. Awibi means repeat. It's like a chorus. Awibi ma'ahu wa tayr and the, 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 the birds that they, wa tayra mahshuratan kullun lahu awwab. Yani the mountain singing with him and the birds are singing with him. So Rasulullah alayhi salam telling Abu Musa, with all this beauty that you have, you have one. Part of Dawood alayhi salam. Utita mizmaran min mazamiri ali Dawood. Means Dawood alayhi salam used to do Quran different ways. That's one of them. So he said, Wallahi ya Rasulullah, if I knew that you're listening, and that is the part that keeps triggering ya Sheikh my uh, thinking. La habbartuhu laka tahbira. See, habbartuhu means there is an effort here. The word habbara, fa'ala in Arabic, it is not, you know, fa'ala. Fa'ala I would have recited. But habbara means there is an effort, an exertion of effort over that I would have done that even more. Habbartuhu tahbira, and even more. I would have read it in different levels, Ya Rasulullah, for you. That's one. The other thing, Sheikh, also I wanted to mention, Subhanallah, Imam Ibn al Qayyim, Rahimahullah, he did, he did a book called Madaris al Salikin. Ta'rif Madaris al Salikin. Madaris al Salikin, Bayna Manazil Iyaka Na'abud wa Iyaka Nistai. There are hundred levels of one's heart being in the path of Allah Azza wa Jal. Salik, يعني, 100 levels. And each level he divided to three levels. Elementary, medium, and advanced. <laughs> ah. Now, but the whole part here is, this is not what I'm mentioning it for. He used terms like al-wajd, wal-ishq, wal these kind of things that some people used it in a wrong way. Not everybody. So some people said, Ibn al-Qayyim, maybe he wrote this book before he meets Ibn Taymiyyah and his aqidah became like uh, but actually in Madaraj al-Salikin he was saying <laughs> وَقَالَ شَيْخُنَا رَحِمَهُ اللَّهِ yes. يعني our Shaykh may Allah have mercy on him that means he wrote the book actually after Ibn Taymiyyah died right some, some of it so here he might be using some words that's where I want to uh, what the maqamati Shaykh has some people might be using words that some other people using wrong but they are using it right so when we are saying this maqam bayati or maqam sigha or something like that and the musician using the same thing, they are using it their own way. These patterns existed before they invent any of the instruments, right? As the Sheikh says, even when you're talking, you are talking in your own uh, way 
depends on your mood and, and all of that. So that's why, inshallah, I wanted to mention that, insert that here before the Sheikh give examples, because I'm going to ask him what is this and what is that, right? Yep. So, yeah. okay. so let us now take the example. You know, all of us, alhamdulillah, know Surah uh, Al-Fatiha. Uh, we decide Surah Al-Fatiha with a sad voice. And by the way, uh, you know, this style or this tune is very beloved to the hearts. Once you, subhanAllah, you know, hear this kind of tune, you feel something good. You feel like you are attached, to the you know, to the Quran. Okay? And the so, Rasul advised us to qara'u al-Qur'an bi-huzni. Yeah. There has to be some compassion in it. Uh, some sadness in it because it is that's how it was revealed. Yeah, this is the hadith about that. Exactly. So now don't say I don't have beautiful voice. It's not now about the beautiful voice. It's about can we beautify our voices in the Quran? Mm. Okay. Right. I just will recite and then you repeat after me, ayah after ayah. Yeah. Please join each other. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I want Sheikh to be the judge okay الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إياك نعبد وإياك اهدنا الصراط المستقيم اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين Now, now, Sheikh, say that what he thinks. Wallahi, you are pros. <laughs> well, you see how it is, right? Now we don't know what the Sheikh was doing. There are study for that. That helps how he starts and how, where he goes up, where he goes down. There is like patterns in everything that he did. But you were easily imitating, right? And that's what the ta'aleem of Qara'a uh, of the Qur'an with the Muhammad. That's what he does. That's what most of the people do. Some, they take it extra. And the Sheikh was talking to me this morning. And he was saying some people, they ifrat. I feel ifrat yani? Ifrat yani go extreme, extreme right. And tafrid go extreme left. Tafrid means abandonment. They don't care about it. Because you know, this is how it is. And I don't care about all of this. And I will just recite the Quran. And then people behind, they are kind of disheartened. They, they kind of like don't want to listen. And sometimes they take it over as if somebody is singing. And some people, they do that. I don't mention names, but some people do that, right? It's like they are singing. They are not reciting the Quran. But that's how it is. And you are reciting, mashallah, in Saba perfectly. Mashallah, yes. Rabbi Now start another one, Shia. Try a different one. Before that, I just want to mention here uh, two points. Okay, two points. Point number one, to emphasize the, the idea that the Sheikh uh, said, which is, you know, most of you maybe uh, do not have beautiful voice, really beautiful voice, right? But subhanAllah, you just recited the Fatiha, mashallah, very beautiful, alhamdulillah. So it takes practice. That's what it is, practice. Number two, uh, three points, I'm sorry. Number two, if I want now to use my, uh, my ability, I will do something else. Something you cannot do it. Now, you, you will not do it. Okay? Because the one who can do it, the one who has beautiful voice. Like, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Malik Yawmid 
Adim. So you, you can't do that. These called Urab. You know, going up, going down, uh, like shaking the voice, <laughs> subhanAllah, and you cannot do it basically. But what you did is the base. The third point, which is the most important point that I want to emphasize here. We recited, all of us, Al-Fatiha with the Ahkam Tajweed. Now, listen carefully if someone recite Iyaka Na'budu wa Iyaka Nasta'in in this way. And you tell me, is this right or is this wrong? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Iyaka Na'budu wa Iyaka Nasta'in. Do you think the Ayn here is right or wrong? Wrong. Because it becomes, or it became what? A, Alif, Ayn has Tawassut. This is one of the characteristics of the Ayn, which is middle level between the Rakhawa, the continuous voice in the letter, or to just switch it or, you know, to, to, to hold your, uh, your, your voice. So the right way to pronounce, to pronounce the ayn ah, na'budu, na'budu, not na'budu, it is alif, or na'budu, this is wrong. Okay, you don't hold the, you don't hold the so, yeah, so some shuyukh who really care just about the, these styles, the, they do mistakes like this, hmm. and you shouldn't. Not here you play with your voice, not here. You can play with your voice in the mudud, for example. Right? In the mudud. Jazakallah. Allah What I wanted to mention here is like if you start uh, do Surah Al-Fatiha in a different style. And let's see how our brothers and sisters would do. Okay. Let us, for example, do... Okay. Uh, all of us, mashallah, love Imams of Haram. Right? They do their... Uh, most of them their style is uh, arrest. Okay, arrest. Means straight. Arrest. Straight, exactly. And it is very powerful, subhanAllah, voice. So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And you repeat, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Together, together. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawm Al-Din إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم صراط غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين. so see سبحان الله ما شاء الله تبارك الله. some of you some of you couldn't say ولا الله because it is Something needs, you know, someone has the, that foundation. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, let me ask you. Did I imitate someone Sheikh Sudais? Yeah. Yes. yes. No. You did not imitate Sheikh Sudais. This is the... This is the... Ma this is the maqam. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different type of maqam. So don't... <laughs> this, is, this is the maqam. That called us. Okay. Now... You know Sheikh Shreem? Ah. Yes. Okay, listen now to me. Okay. It is the same style. But he has different level, different subhanAllah. His voice is deeper. Very deeper. Bismillah mm. ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. 
الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين Now, I'm sorry, now I imitated him. Okay, what about Ali Abdullah Jabir? He, he was Imam Al-Haram Al-Makki, but in the past. Also, rest. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا so now yes I imitated Ali Abdullah Jabir why because I changed my voice my voice is not like this right but in the beginning no you cited your own yeah my own but but I, I just what I did is the the style by itself but if I want to you know imitate Sudais so this has very high, uh, you know, yeah, live it. Alhamdulillah, even I cannot do it. Because it's very high for me. Mm. Okay. So you're saying, Sheikh, there is the style or the pattern, and then there is the levels of the voice. Exactly. So it's as if someone is following the same pattern, but on the base level. Somebody is following the same pattern, but in the medium level. Somebody is following the same pattern, but higher. Yes. Someone is a little bit deeper, someone is, yeah. So now, yes. now you get the idea, right? But it is the same pattern. That's why you say, oh, he's imitating Sheikh Sudais. No, you just identified with the pattern. But Sheikh Sudais does it higher, he's doing it lower. By the way, <laughs> I mean, you know, after this, when you hear your Imam, like naturally, naturally, subhanAllah, your mind will go where? Oh, which maqam which Sheikh is it? You know, it is fine in the beginning. In the beginning, it's fine because this is something natural so to think about it, especially if you are, you know, if you're taking tajweed, ahkam of tajweed, anyone you, you know, you hear him, you will start, oh no, he didn't do that one, no, he should do, you know, do this, do that. This is because you are learning this knowledge. So it's, it's, it's normally inside you deeply to, to think about it, okay? One of the maqamat, it is my beloved maqam actually, it's called al kurd mm. It is very soft, very soft. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. But the only recite, you don't repeat. Just listen to him. Alhamdulillahirrabbilalameen Ar-Rahmanirrahim Malik Yawmeen Ihdina al-Sirat al-Mustaqeem صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين. It's good for tahajjud this one. Right? We'll be crying, Sheikh. Oh, mashallah. Before, inshallah, I will invite our Sheikh Dalar to recite five minutes. And then, inshallah, she will analyze that recitation. Before we do that, uh, how about if we do an experiment? Someone of you, inshallah, have the confidence to recite Surah Al-Fatiha, and then the Sheikh kind of guide that and see how we do this. You want to do that? Go ahead. Bismillah. Come on. Come on. Sit. Go ahead. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم 
مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم. Repeat that one again. إهدنا الصراط. إهدنا الصراط المستقيم. صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم. غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين. He 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 joined two maqams. See now. Al-Bayat and then Al-Qurd, but in strange way, little bit. Okay, why? Because he didn't have the bridge between the two maqams. Now. When I want to, you know, uh, al-bayat, this is very, very important maqam, okay? Usually the qurra start with al-bayat and ends with al-bayat. And by the way, brothers and sisters, maqam is like the tree. It's very wide, okay? It's very wide. Don't think this is the maqam exactly. If you, if you didn't exactly do it, the same, the same tune, so you are out. No, it's not like about that, okay? Now, what he did, إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ He turned to the, to the court, but he didn't have the bridge for that. Now, listen to me. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. This is Bayan. الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين نستعين this called نشاز which is basically something odd something odd it's 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 not like you didn't feel comfortable when you when you heard it there is something wrong but إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين now, Qur'an. إِهْدِنَ الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ Okay. Now, I will recite, if you allow me, Surah Al-Fatiha, and, you know, mix between the, the maqamat. بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ Bayat. الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم Now what? God, God, ما شاء الله إياك نعبد وإياك مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين. اسكت حجاز يمني. exactly محمد أيوب. إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم. غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين. This is now one that's just it. So I joined between Bayat, Kurd, Hijaz Madani, and then with the with the Nahawan. سبحان الله. The last thing that I want to mention, you know, when the Imam in the Salah say. Uh, regardless his voice, okay? غَيْرِ الْمَغْضُوبِ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا الضَّالِّينَ The tune that you're going to choose naturally. Ameen. The same. <laughs> but, but, subhanAllah, when you say the Imam, غَيْرِ الْمَغْضُوبِ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا الضَّالِّينَ because naturally, subhanAllah, naturally, you know, follow that. <laughs> so basically, it is, you know, everyone can do it, but, you know, the base of it, you know, the basic, everyone, subhanAllah, can do the basic. And now, how you do it, 
How I start that? Everyone has, you know, uh, uh, some sheikh you like to listen to, right? For example, Mishari, Rashid Ifasi, he's very professional. So in some way, you, you cannot do it, right? But start, start with, for example, Asudais. Okay. Uh, Sheikh Shatili, he, very easy, his voice very easy. Imshari Rashid al Ifasi, in some surahs, subhanAllah, he recites, my point, brothers and sisters, just listen to one qari. Oh. Just, just listen to one qari. Don't confuse yourself. Exactly. Yeah. And then, subhanAllah, you know, and make this as ibadah, by the way. Make this as ibadah, which means, if you give the Qur'an every day, like 15 minutes to recite from the Qur'an, make 5 minutes or 3 minutes, just focus and beautify your voice. That's it. Practice it. Just practice it. Okay? Jazakallah. So, inshallah, we're going to listen, inshallah, to a few minutes of the recitation. After you learn, after you learn from Sheikh Ra'a about the different things, and how people uh, the Quran start. Let's listen, inshallah, to a few minutes of Fadilat uh, Shaykh Dalawar, inshallah. And the <laughs> we were talking about the Muhammad. Two weeks back, we were traveling. You were at the Chicago. One of the brothers, he was uh, taking us from hotel to the masjid. But he was very old man. I'm not permission his name. But he was driving like a, you know, he's very young. <laughs> One of our shir from Egypt. The way he was talking like, you know, like a uh, shaykh said, like, you know, Mazami, he started out the Muslim. Oh, no. <laughs> you know? He was talking the uh, Muslim uh, style. And the driver, he, uh, he asked, while he was driving, very dangerous driving, and he said, Sheikh, how was everything? Then Sheikh said, everything good, good. <laughs> everything okay. Okay, meanwhile, he was reciting all oh, the dua. Subhanallah, <laughs> 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 so as soon as we get the masjid, so as soon as he get off from the car, he said, Brother, what you did, everything was oof. Oof, <laughs> 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 not good. When I talk to oof, he told them oof. <laughs> That's the mystery uh, story. <laughs> أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Yeah, 
رسولي وتناجوا بالبد والتقوى واتقوا الله الذي إليك تحشرون واتقوا الله الذي إليك تحشرون إنما النجوى من الشيطان ليحزن الذين آمنوا وليس بضارهم شيئا إلا بإذن والله خبير 
بما تعملون الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أعطيناك الكوثر فصل لربك وانحر إن شانئك هو الأبد صدق الله العظيم. الله 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 uh, first, I want to ask before we do that, and we close inshallah for that. Well, I want to ask Sheikh Dalawar, uh, when did you finish memorizing the Quran? Say it, Sheikh Lawar. Say it, say it. When you were? How, how? When I was 11. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I, I finished the Quran when I was 10. <laughs> so, Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Amin. But, here you learn something. There are some people finish the Quran when they're 60. What does that mean anyways? That means everybody can finish the Quran, can memorize the Quran. Sheikh is reminding me with the ayah now, وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرُنَ الْقُرْآنَ هَلْ مِنْ Quran. And I have workshops that I prove to people that they can memorize the Quran regardless. I can talk to you a little bit and I give you certain ways you can memorize a page in one sitting. A page that you've never seen before. You never, I need mean, never memorized before. Open a random page in the Quran. I'll tell you what to do, and then your heart in the right place. You believe in Allah Azza wa You believe in yourself and your ability. You're gonna do it. It might take 15 minutes. It might take three hours. But is that the point, though? Is it? Is that the point? If you point to memorize the page, you are not going to get deterred by. How long? Sheikh told you, some people have voice to do this. Some people have voice to do that. So oh, if I cannot do like Sheikh Dalawar did, I'm not going to recite. <coughs> Is this reasonable? You don't have to do what the Sheikh did, going up and down, mashallah, reciting beautifully, which the Sheikh will comment on, inshallah, now, and tell us what is the journey that our Sheikh Dalawar took us in from Bayati to Bayati again, and in the middle, what, what did he do, Sheikh? And then after the Sheikh analyzed that, I want to read Surah Al-Fatiha and the Sheikh tells me where I digress. <laughs> because I don't know what he's talking about. Yani this maqam. I, I have an ear, but sometimes I, I don't know. It's just fitra like that, right? So I want him to correct me, inshallah. And he's my Sheikh, by the way, in this one. <laughs> and uh, then, inshallah, Rabbi Alameen will uh, finish at the end by a surprise from the Sheikh Rahad, inshallah. He will do something that all of you would like, inshallah. Because you have other skills other than reciting the Quran. Yani. So we'll ask him to do that, inshallah, Rabbi Alameen. And then we'll finish and then we'll go for dinner with Ibn Allah Ta'ala. Right? We'll give you, just tonight the plan was to give you a taste. Huh? Now if you want more of this, we can talk about it. Right? If you want more of this and you want to recite Fatiha like you recited today, Allah, I'm surprised, the Sheikh. I'm surprised. And the Sheikh, mashallah, I can see his face. He went to different massages, he did the same exercise. But I feel that the response he got from you today was different. And I can tell, inshallah, I'm So Sheikh, please. Allah in a minute tell us what the Sheikh was doing. Yeah, yeah Sheikh, mashallah, first of all, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you. You have such a beautiful voice, mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Abdul Basit didn't die. Mashallah. Mashallah, his voice exactly, mashallah, like Abdul Basit. Uh, he started with Bayat and he ends with Bayat and he just, all his journey with Bayat. He didn't change. And by, by the way, Abdul Basit, the, the thing that distinguished him 
he kept uh, you know the maqam long time he 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 has the ability to stay mashallah in the same maqam mashallah i mean and this is beautiful in in, in some way that you know the the mustami' the listener can you know focus with the sheikh mashallah and as as you see all of us mashallah was very touched yes by by this style okay so may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you but the thing that he did you know uh, he start with uh, uh, like the qarar and then the jawab in 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 uh, and he was mashallah very good in it alhamdulillah so he didn't just you know uh, go to the jawab which is the high level you know very fast he was he he took it step by step and this is mashallah uh, no one can do it uh, except someone professional mashallah like him may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept him so my, my thing inshallah now i'm very embarrassed but i'll i'll do it inshallah a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim bismillahi ar-rahman ar-rahim alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin ar-rahman ar-rahim maliki yawm إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين ما شاء الله ما شاء الله what did I do, sir? You tell me. What do you think? <coughs> okay. He did like this. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. So what is it? No. No. Salah. Huzun. Sad. Yeah. But here the thing, you know, the same maqam, you can hear it from different Ah, different style, people, people, different but performance. But not exactly, exactly. Yes, performance not, different. Exactly, but mm. mashallah, he, uh, I think I think he was affected by your recitation in the big yes. yes. Allah still stuck here. Exactly. <laughs> I, I normally recite in Salah, Sheikh. Uh -huh. What I recite, I recite like this: Alhamdulillah, <laughs> Rabbil Alamin. Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. Salah. See, I'm still stuck in my head, and that's the issue. So I recite Bayati, but this because I'm affected by it. So the mood actually affects, right? Yeah, of course. So, of yeah. course. I mean, you know, there, there, there is key. Ah. Every maqam. So give me a key, Sheikh. Give the Bayati. Let me see how I continue. Okay, I will you recite two ayahs. I will go after you. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Ar Rahman Ar Rahim, Malik Yawm Al Din. Iya kan abud wa iya kan astain. Okay, stop. Now let me give him another maqam. Let me challenge him. <laughs> this maqam called Ajam. Ah, no, 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 this is the maqam of farah, maqam of happiness. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Malik yawm al-Din. There is nashaz in this. Look, it's hard. I got you. Hat wahat sahli, shir. واحد سهل. نهون الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين يعني إذا قال مثلا إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ So this is something odd, right? But إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ 
Okay. So bring me recite a surah, kida the way I recite, and you tell me what is that maqam. I really don't know. I'm, I'm just telling you, I really don't know. I'm just taking from him and I'm following the pattern. But I really don't know. You know believe me in this one. So let me recite Surah al duha and let's see how. وَالضُّحَى وَاللَّيْلِ إِذَا سَجَى مَا وَدَّعَكَ رَبُّكَ وَمَا قَلَى وَلَلْآخِرَةُ خَيْرٌ لَكَ مِنَ الْأُولَى وَلَسَوْفَ يُعْطِيكَ رَبُّكَ فَتَرْضَى أَلَمْ يَجِدْكَ يَتِيمًا فَآوَى وَوَجَدَكَ ضَالًّا فَهَدَى وَوَجَدَكَ عَائِلًا فَأَغْنَى فَأَمَّا الْيَتِيمَ فَلَا تَقْهَرْ وَأَمَّا السَّائِلَ فَلَا تَنْهَرْ you know, the, the, the problem with bayat, maqam, is very, very, very wide. So you can do bayati nahawant, bayati That maqamat, brothers and sisters, he ain't with, with, with bayat. Bayat, uh, or, or the maqamat, subhanallah, um, you know, some some countries known by some maqamat. Hmm. Yani as we said, the Hijaz, Hijaz, Ahlul Yemen, the people of Yemen, subhanAllah, they known by that. Uh, Nahawant, it is Nisbatan. Uh, uh, Iran. Okay. As uh, Saba, this is an Arabic maqam. Uh, so, so my point here, subhanAllah, sometimes you think you are doing just, just pure maqam, but it is, it is mashallah, more than, more than white. So I was doing this bayati? Uh, in the end, you did bayat. In the beginning? But in the beginning, um, I think yes. you did uh, uh, kind of hijaz, kind mm -hmm. of, kind of nahawand in some point. Okay. Mixed. Yes. That's why I don't know. So, inshallah, <laughs> we'll finish this beautiful night. Mashallah, you're mashallah, great audience. Alhamdulillah, Now, can you do the Lord of Makkah? Yeah, you can do the Makkah. He wants you to tell him what Makkah is this for. Oh, that's the Jewish one. Yes, we can. Yeah. But in higher level. He will he will say all Fatiha in one breath. Yeah. Fine. Yes. I think it's enough. Oh, it's okay. That's different. Yeah. This is good. But let me tell you something. That's a good point he made. Nobody can recite Fatiha in one breath. That's a challenge. He's breathing in the middle, but he don't notice it. And the Sheikh can tell you, and any scholar of Sautiyat yani, would know. There is no way that someone can recite Fatiha like that in one breath. And to, to add here, it is by the way, the, 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 the ulama of Qira'a, the yeah. ulama, the scholars of Qira'a, they forbid to steal breath while you are reciting. While you are reciting. And where they, are, they do that? Mm. In very smart, yani for example, uh, uh, Bill. Uh -huh. oh. in, in some in some points that they stop and they by they know as they <laughs> like Rob <laughs> Bill he's talking of I said breath. So from his yeah, stomach yeah, yeah. he's breathing like that. But you know I'm just in the I, sukun, I have to give in you the sukun, sukun most the most of the time in the sukun. Yes. Because the sukun <laughs> depends the the, the letter. Oh. Yeah, for example in the ha for example. Oh. It's hams. Right? So with the hams you can arrah man arrah and he takes inside right so i'm just telling you and as a lay person you want oh man oh one voice you know one spirit and you go around and show all your friends right and mashallah everybody's happy but nobody can do that humanly is not possible and you know what and is tajweed that? is not is not allowed it's not allowed in tajweed because you are taking breath 
That means you take breath only in the waqf when you stop, not when you are going. Last thing, inshallah, I want to mention that Sheikh Ra'ad is, mashallah, known for Nasheed. And Nasheed, and I, he, I did not tell him that, so I'm going to put him on the spot, inshallah. <laughs> Just one minute or two minutes, Sheikh, give us a Qasida or a Nasheed. And yes, by the way, CD, I mean, you can get that CD, it's in YouTube as well, and all of that. So he had beautiful Nasheed. Inshallah Rabbil Alameen. He gave us a small one and I might translate it for you Inshallah Rabbil Alameen. So the Sheikh will do that and we'll finish on that note Inshallah Rabbil Alameen. Make dua and we'll finish Inshallah. Fadda Sheikh. Well, let us know in Nasheed that you will. I will say that 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 I will إلهي إليك وإلا ترد الحاجات إلا إليك إلى Without you, no meaning of what we say, no meaning of what we ask, and there is no, no value for anything without you, Ya Allah. So we ask you for that, to accept our dua, to forgive our sins, and to help those who are transgressed to come out of their you know, hardship. So that was basically uh, the dua. Now, uh, uh, now uh, the Sheikh will finish, inshallah, with a beautiful nasheed about Islam. Let me translate for you. Uh, I will never forget my Islam. I will never stay in darkness of the darkness of the night. Uh, I will keep, uh, I will seek the Fajr to come all the time for my days and I will practice my religion and my discipline. That is how Islam's light will appear. That is how the dunya will be filled with nur and it goes around the deen of the Islam. So we'll finish with that. But inshallah, you will do it in a different style. You no, know, it, is, it is just one, it is as, as Nasheed. But the beauty about it, I mean, you, you can help me in this, inshallah. You will say basically in English, the meaning in English, I will never forget my Islam. Abadan, when I say abadan, which means never, you will say, Lan ansa islami. Lan ansa islami. You know, especially what, you know, what's happening now, whatever happens, right? I will never forget my Islam. Okay? What, what are we going to say? Lan ansa islami. But remember in the same tone. <laughs> When he says Abadan, we're going to say that, inshallah. Bismillah. Abadan lan ansa islami Lan abqa fi layli ghulami Wa sa abghi al-fajr li ayami Wa 
فالدنيا قد ملئت نورا وغدت أيام ديجورا صارت بالباطل تنورا ونعيش بجهل وقتامي أبدا لن أنسى إسلامي إسلامي ما كان بغيا ليكون عن الحكم قصيا بل كان نظاما قدسيا من عند إله علامي أبدا لن أنسى إسلامي فالماضي صغناه صلاحا والهدي حملناه كفاحا والمجد صغناه فلاحا ويزين صدر الإسلام أبدا لن أنسى إسلامي بغداد يملأها الفخر غرناطة يحكيها الدهر بيزنطة غيرها النصر وكذاك بمصر وشامي أبدا لن أنسى إسلامي وتعود الأركان الخمس بنيانا يعمره الأنس ونظاما يحرسه الماس بشباب المد المتنامي أبدا لن أنسى إسلامي أبدا لن أنسى إسلامي لن أبقى في لين ظلامي وسأبغي الفجر لأيامي وأطبق ديني ونظامي أبدا لن أنسى إسلامي أبدا لن أنسى إسلامي الله يحفظك شيخ بارك الله فيكم جميعا الله يحفظكم جميعا and before we go to that, this is a charge, right? We'll never forget our Islam, right? Whatever happens, we don't forget our Islam. This is the base for us, for our children, for our family. This is our safe haven. Masjid is our place. This jama'ah ah is our strength, is our energy. And we leave in that note, inshallah. We say, Subhanak Allahumma bihamdik. Nashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Wa salli allahumma wa sallim ala al-habibi Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man tabi'ahu wa lahu sallim al-kathira. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.